back to my channel you guys so today we are going to be working on our wallet tutorial i hope you guys enjoy let's start off by going over a list of things you're gonna need you are gonna need your choice of material in this case i will be using fall leather and i'm gonna be using this one today you're also gonna need a snap kit the for the buttons for the wallets um i have this one linked in my small business must-haves i will link it in the description below i'm so awkward i'm sorry i don't know where to look i apologize my my what third video Please bear with me you are gonna need a cutting machine something to cut it with it doesn't have to be you can use the silhouette the cricket um i know some people cut their fall leather by hand you can do it however you like whatever works for you you will also need this wallet svg and i'm gonna show you where i got mine so this is the shop's name it's a little extra by sam on etsy and she doesn't have the one that I purchased, but she does have this one that it's the hand sanitizer bag, it's the little wallet, and a wristlet. Here is another shop that I love to buy from. It's called Macy Moo, and she has this bundle of four card holders and a little key thing. And this is the one that I use the most. It's the little round one and the one with the pointy thing. I don't use those, but if you guys like these, this is also another SVG you can purchase. Okay, so we're back on design space. We're going to go ahead and click make it. And it's going to lay it out like that. You're going to hit continue. So I like to cut on fall leather paper thin in the same settings that it comes with. Frequently asked questions that I get all the time is what type of blade do I use? And I use the same blade that the machine came with. I have not bought a new blade since. But I do think I need to buy new blades. So if you guys have recommendations, leave them down below. I really appreciate it. So after you cut it and you take off the excess, you're going to end up with something like this. And what I meant is like, I lay it. Let me see. You see how I laid it right side up? So that way when I fold it, it's going to be perfect. It's not going to be upside down. I like to use these little clips I got from the Dollar Tree to hold, it in, hold them in place. So in order for the material to start like getting its wallet shape because some of the leathers can be thick i like to just like clamp them down and make sure they're like even so i clamp down one side while i glue the other so i'll clamp this side and then we're gonna glue this side i like to press on it a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and glue Like to fold that broken nail you guys so don't like don't don't look at it <laughs> and then we fold this other side And then with my scissors, I just cut off the, the excess glue that comes out to the sides, from the sides, I mean. And just trim it, flip it over. Okay, so after you trim all your pieces, you're gonna end up with something like this. And then we're gonna put that to the side while we choose out our buttons. So what I like to do is I like to lay it and then I grab my little tweezers and I just compare like the pinks, like what pink would look cute with it. And that's too light. I 
need this. So I actually also bought these off of Amazon. To refill these, like once the colors are gonna finish. So like some of them are like the black ones I already refilled. I refilled the white ones a couple times. So I bought these separate ones and they came with more colors. So I like this pink way better than the other pink. It matches a lot better. So when putting the button, I like to clamp it down like this as well. So I grab my little clamps and I just, that way I can easily like focus at where the center is. And then these ones, they are pointy enough to where my husband is calling. So these pieces are sharp enough that I just push it through to make the indentation on the on the leather as to where I want the button to go. So I just grab it and I just press on it real quick. Not that hard. You don't want it to go through to the other side. I've never had them go through, but and then you just push it through and then you end up with something like this on the top and then it marks the bottom one so i grab either the same buttons or sometimes i have this little thing that it came with and i poke it through the top and then i grab it and put it in through the inside and uh, there you go and then you need these pieces as well. So one of them is the bottom piece and one of them is the top piece. I'll show you guys a close up after. So you're gonna go ahead and put this, the piece on top and then grab your little clamp thing and you're just gonna make sure it's aligned and press. And what that does is it squishes that little point, it squishes it down for them to be able to snap together. So then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. The bottom is a little bit trickier. Like you just like have to like eyeball it. Like I've gotten better at eyeballing it and it's the same thing. And then you just press. And then it smushes down the thing and then you have a wallet. These are the pieces that I was talking about. So you're gonna need two of these one for the top and one for the bottom and then one of each of these pieces they're very different and one is for the top and one is for the bottom i'm not sure if there's a specific way they're supposed to go but i use this for the top and this for the bottom so in order to press it together you have it like that so it's going to be something like this you're going to have something like this and what you do, what you don't see, is you have to get, this is what I mean by you have to get it aligned in the circle. Once you have get the bottom piece aligned in here, you just press down. And you end up with the button. It didn't come out as good, but because I was pressing with one hand and I'm trying to film. But that's necessarily how you end up with the button. It squishes the little point inside. And then you do the same thing to the other side. You do the same thing. You place it in there and you press. And then you have your button. So that's how you do the snap buttons. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Lastly, we add the piece with the little heart. I will have the video on how to make the hearts next. And here it is. We have a really cute card holder. It's so pretty. I love this print. I'm pretty sure I forgot something. Like I'm trying to remember if I told you guys where to buy everything, how to do everything. But something, like there's something in my mom telling me that I forgot to tell you guys something. I think I remember what I forgot to tell you guys and then that's the measurements that I cut the wallet to. So my measurements are width is 4.704 and the height is 8.576. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see it. And I think that that's it. I think I got everything. Let me know if this video helped you guys. If you guys have any more questions, 
leave them down below let me know what video you want to see next and if you like these videos like like and subscribe please thank you have a nice day bye